Welcome everyone, this is Master's Joke. Also Master's Joke 75 on Instagram. So today I'm gonna to open up my Star Wars The Phantom Menace Episode 1 Retro Collection figures. I still haven't got um, a tripod, but I did contact Disney and um, they found it in Galaxy's Edge. So I've gotta go, I've gotta to go to Disney Springs at some point and pick up my tripod. So at the moment I'm working without my tripod uh, so it's going to be another rough, unprofessional video. But check out this place. This is the games room in my villa. It's absolutely amazing. Let me show you around. Right, so check this out. So I've got a pool table. Here's all my Star Wars figures that I'm going to open up. <laughs> Freehand with no tripod. This place is amazing. Look, you've got a little bar up here, a little bar area. There's me. So it's, it's all in the garage, but look, you've got fuse ball as well. Absolutely fantastic. To be honest, I haven't used it that much because we, we're out most of the time. But it is really good. I mean, look, you've even got... Um, you've even got basketball up here. <laughs> and then... Uh, the washing machine in there that's doing the washing at the moment but honestly it's a, a fantastic villa and well I was really looking forward to this they got an arcade machine but it doesn't seem to be working because uh, you turn it it's like it's one of those old um, arcade machines that have got like a a digital screen installed so that you can see the Sanyo on the side but uh, it just says you got to connect it to the um, to a PC or something so can't really use it, but it's got the uh, coin slots. A lot nicer than an arcade one up. It's a really nice machine. And look, there's my uh, there's my stall. So I, I could really do my Star Wars review on the stall, just like at home. But I'm going to open all these uh, bad boys at once, purely because I don't have the room to take them home. And I I always buy two sets, one to open, one to display. So I did check Star Action figures again, and they're still in stock. So as soon as I get home, I'll order some. Although um, I probably won't have any money left, to be honest. So let's uh, so let's start with uh, Queen Armadala. Right. So we're going to start with Padme. So um, I like it. I, you know, it's it's a basic figure compared to the uh, original. Um, release back in 1999. I like it. I love these retro collection figures. So uh, I'm using this is proper unprofessional because I've I've got the computer. I've got the uh, camera um, propped up on a uh, a box of 100 tea bags from uh, Walmart. Great value, but they're really nice. <laughs> but, uh, and I'm also using a glass to balance balance the figures on. So as I mentioned in part one. I'm really impressed by the actual uh, thickness of the card. So Hasbro are on their way. I I've always said this line has got the potential to do really, really well. We need vehicles, accessories, but they needed to sort out the um, the issue with the packaging, and they seem to have done it. Uh, Padme doesn't come with any, uh, or Queen Armadala doesn't come with any accessories or weapons. But you know that's that's fair enough. She's the queen. Uh, same old standard card on the back. They've got, they've got to do something with that as well. But yeah, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm really excited about opening these, um, and just hope that, <laughs> that they're still in stock at Star Action Figures when I get back to England. So let's uh, let's go with Queen Armadala. Oh yeah, there's only one way to open these. It's like it was Christmas 1984. I think I'm sort of forgetting about Christmas because look at that because it's so hot <laughs> it is so hot here so that's a really decent looking figure right so let's have a proper look here I like it. Oh look, it's got a little um, 
Reminds me, not of the Emperor, because the Emperor wore flares, but it does, it's, you know, having the detail um, on the inside of the legs, it is proper nostalgic, a nod, a nod to the 80s line. I love it. I, I absolutely love it. Um, Queen Armadala. I, I, I mean, the detail is great. The hair, the head does feel a bit, um, a bit rubbery. Not like the original kind of hard kind of heads in the 80s. I like it. So, I've got to be honest. I'm going to give Queen Armadala a 10, 10 out of 10 for Queen Armadala. Right, so let's go with, um, we're going to go with Obi-Wan Kenobi next. Just get him, in, get him into position. So it's, it's a lovely image on the front. I love Obi-Wan. I love you and McGregor. I really like it. I, I think it looks great. It's a really good looking figure. It's got the old school Obi-Wan lightsaber. Similar to the uh, retro collection um, from the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. And I picked up, I have got this figure already, but I picked up one <laughs> um, with Q's, Q, Q um, from Texas. He's been telling me I need to go to uh, Ollie's. So I actually went to Ollie's today, and um, I've, I've, got, I've got a couple of these already, but $3.99, I thought it'd be nice to compare him to the, uh, you know, to the Phantom Menace. So, uh, yeah, that, I mean, Ollie's wasn't as good as I thought it would be, but I suppose it depends on what store you go to. So I'm gonna open, <laughs> open both of these up. But look at the, um, look how flimsy this, this, um, Obi-Wan Kenobi series one is compared to uh, the new card. So let's uh, let's get Obi-Wan open. Yeah, I think he looks great. Reminds me a lot of the uh, the original 1999 version. So let's get him out. Right, so here he is. I'll tell you what, doing this so low down is doing my back in. <laughs> but great news that Disney found, Disney actually found my, uh, my tripod in Galaxy's Edge. So my wife had to um, describe what the uh, tripod looked like and um, then she had to send a photo of what it looked like. And then they, they, they said they'd found it. So we just got to pick it up from Disney Springs, which is a big result, because I've missed it. But yeah, it's a decent figure. Let's see if he actually holds his weapon. And he does. That is a really, really nice looking figure. I love it. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 any day of the week. So I'm going to put him with Queen Armadala. Just over here. I'm sure he stands up better. On a flat surface. Right, so while I'm doing that, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna open up my Ollie's Obi Wan just to do a comparison, because you can never have uh, too many <laughs> Obi Wan Kenobis. And I've got this loose already, but I just love the figure. And as I mentioned, I've got no room. <laughs> Right, 
So let's compare the two AB1s. Yeah, they've got, they've got similar eyes, similar faces, but completely different head sculpts, different hairstyles, same lightsabers. And I like the fact that the uh, older Obi-Wan comes with a gun as well. So uh, I'll set them up in a minute. He's 10 out of 10 as well. Let's put him there. Right, so next, let's do Darth, Darth Maul. One of my favorite characters in the Star Wars universe. Just love him. Absolutely love him. It's a great um, image on the card back, used in the, well, it's been used many times, but he looks amazing. I mean, he looks so much like the original release back in 99, but obviously with the basic double ended lightsaber, you know, because it's a retro collection. He does, he does look really good. Let's get him out of the packet. Fantastic figure. You know, it's got a basic articulation, but does the job. It's exactly what, you know, it's exactly what you want from a retro collection figure. So I'm just gonna get his weapon. So I think this is the first time in the retro collection there's been like a double-ended kind of Darth Maul type lightsaber. Because I think the Inquisitors, they had the kind of round bit on theirs. So does he hold it? I remember, yeah, this, this room, yeah he holds it really well. But I remember, I used to find it frustrating. The, um, the original episode one figures where Darth Maul had a kind because there was no articulation I mean they were great figures I've still got all mine but because, because there was uh, no articulation his I think his, his left hand was in a certain pose so that he could hold the lightsaber in a certain way and he on display if, if he wasn't holding his lightsaber he just looked a bit strange but I love this 10 out of 10 any day of the week, I love Darth Maul. Stick him over there with his friends. Right, so let's go with, let's go with Qui-Gon Jinn. Again, it's a lovely image. He actually looks brilliant. I love the face sculpt on this. Yeah, I think they've done a really good job. I also picked up another Darth Vader from Ollie's as well. <laughs> so I'm gonna open, it, open him up as well. But, um, let's get him out, get him out. Of so I never thought I'd be doing a Star Wars action figure review on a pool table. So let's have a look at Qui-Gon. Oh, he's decent. He looks really, really good. His cloak is great. It's a shame that Obi-Wan hasn't got a cloak because they could have just given um, Obi-Wan exactly the same cloak. I mean, you pay enough for these figures. <laughs> and uh, let me just get his weapon. So it's the uh, standard um, Luke Skywalker weapon, and is he going to be able to hold it? Yeah, that's fine. That's great. See, the thing is, I know that the um, the original A New Hope 
wave of figures. They, they just couldn't hold their weapons at all. Um, which was frustrating because my stormtroopers, I've got a few of them, they kind of hold their blasters with the kind of middle, um, there's like, you know, the middle, um, not handle, what is it? You, you know what I'm saying, because they can hold that bit, it's a bit thicker. But Chewbacca, he kind of, his weapon, his crossbow kind of gripped to his arm. But, but I don't know, see, I don't know what order these videos are going to go out. But if you've seen my Galaxy's Edge video with the, um, with the Obi-Wan Kenobi, Luke, Han Solo and Chewbacca, they're all from the retro collection and they've been on display. So I got them down when I made that and Chewbacca's weapon just falls off him now. So I don't know what's happened. It, it, it was tight and just kind of gripped his arm. It just, it just slips off now. So that was kind of uh, interesting to see. So uh, let's put Qui-Gon there. Let's go, let's go with Darth Vader next. Because <laughs> I, just, I just love them. I, mean, I know they're, they're only um, three, £3.99 in, um, where is it? Is it not, not Smith's, in The Entertainer. But I just, I just couldn't resist it. I thought, I'm on holiday, and I know. Oh, Qui-Gon's just fallen over. It's amazing how flimsy these card backs are compared to the new ones. And I know a lot of people have knocked this Star Vader. I think it's great. But I, want, I sort of wanted an extra one. I'm sort of thinking, I've been wanting to make a, a custom Darth Vader from the original line. So I've got loads of Darth Vaders with kind of like a robot arm, you know, made from a droid. But I thought if I, you know, got some parts, I don't know, I, I don't know, I'm still thinking about it. But this is, this is a quality figure, $3.99, let your eyes be your guide. You can't go wrong. I, I, I really rate this figure. 10 out of 10 for the Darth Vader. Oh, and I didn't, um, look, Qui-Gon's fallen down. That's probably because I didn't, I didn't give him a rating, did I? So Qui-Gon is also, let's get him into focus. Yeah, Qui-Gon 100% is 10 out of 10. Great figure, absolutely love him. Let's put Qui-Gon there. Then let's go with uh, the Battle Droid. I love Battle Droids. This is so much like the original line. It's just so much like it. Um, I'd love, see, I'd love to get a, a load of these, but you can only, you can't army build because you've got to buy the whole box, which is a shame. I'd love, um, see, this is where uh, again Hasbro are just so misguided. Just do a retro collection box of ten or five or four. Each, just maybe start with four. I'd buy it, definitely. If I just knock the camera on my tea box, look at that. I, I really like this because it's a lot more, um, I mean, it, it looks so much like the original, but it's a lot more um, kind of, uh, I don't know, it's got no articulation at all, but you don't need it with the battle droids. But it's, it's, I don't know, it's just, it just feels less fra fragile, more bulky. I like it, I really do like it. I'd love to get a few more of these. And his blaster, I saw his blaster in the packet, and the blaster looks so much like the, um, so much like the uh, original Phantom Menace line. It's really, really nice. In fact, it looks so good it actually looks, it looks too good to be from, from the 80s, if you see what I mean. But look at that. He is, I think he's one of the best figures. I'm surprised I'm saying that, but I think he is, so far, one of the best figures from the, uh, from the actual, um, from this wave. It's a shame, though, that there's no little groove where you can stick his gun. That would have been a nice little touch. But yeah, I really rate this. I think he's great. And I would hold it holds his gun really well. Nice figure, nice pose as well. Ten out of ten. Any day of the week. Ten out of ten. I'm really, really happy with these. Worth every penny. Highly recommended. So he's gonna be quite difficult to 
stand up. I'm gonna put him next to uh, Obi Wan Kenobi, and then finally, finally we've got Jar Jar Binks. Now he's had a lot of stick. I love Jar Jar Binks. I think he's a great figure. This is a lovely card back, but it's more of um, looks more like a, a a a generated picture of Jar Jar rather than a a picture from the movie. So he comes with the uh, droid blaster as well, which is a nice touch. Really, I, I really love these. But he his face looks great. His face actually looks better than the. Um, than the original 1999 version. So let's get him open. Ah, oh, that, that is brilliant. Look at that. That is a great figure. And he's got he's got the kind of um limp wrist, just like just like the 99 version. He honestly, he's wonderful. I, um, Battle Droid is definitely a great figure, but I think Jar Jar is my favourite. He looks great. Look at that. It's a really, really lovely figure. I lo absolutely love it. Let's get the uh, let's get his blaster. So it's exactly the same as the Battle Droids. Holds it so well. Look at that. Holds it so well. That is amazing. So I would score Jar Jar 10 out of 10. Really, really happy with these. I'm honestly, I'm so happy with these. I'm so happy that I was able to find them in Target. Because I've always wanted to buy a Target exclusive. Brilliant figure. So I'm just gonna stand him. Stand there. And he's a bit more bulky, so he uh, he stands up really, really well. I must remember to put the recycling out. I think it's on. Uh, I think it's on Thursday. I need to do it. There's my. Uh, there's my black tea from. Uh, was it? Yeah, it's from Walmart. I, I, honestly, it's really, really nice. Highly recommended. They do a decent cup of tea now in America. I had this last time when I was here in 2019. Really, really nice. But yeah, that is the end of the video. Well, happy with the. Uh, Star Wars retro collection. Here they, I mean, look at them. They look amazing. I'm so so happy with them. There's a uh, Obi Wan and Darth Vader just on the corner there. I don't know <laughs> why did I buy them, but I love them. So at, at least they'll fit in my case a little bit easier because I've still got a pack, a lightsaber, two droids, and no questions asked. <laughs> but look at them. They're absolutely fantastic. But definitely, I love the Battle Droid. I mean, I love them all, but um, I think Jar Jar Binks, I think he just looks amazing. But yeah, definitely, you know, if you like the retro collection or the vintage line, Hasbro have done a wonderful job with this. So definitely check them out. But that is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know you care. It also helps the channel. I'm gonna try and get this uh, arcade machine to work and I'll see you in the next one.